Hello everyone and welcome back to Queen Variety's channel. On today's episode, you will learn how to make a very easy peanut or granite vegan stew recipe. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel to get instant notifications whenever I upload new videos. Feel free to share this video with your friends, loved ones and family members or anybody you want to share it with. Thank you. On my web surface, I have various ingredients that I have placed there. What I have here is about four onions, but I'll be blending only two onions and the other two will be chopped in little bites and um, sizes or in little sizes. What I have here is some spicy um, red peppers, some ginger and some garlic. I have a combination of um, red, yellow and green bell peppers, rosemary and then um, fresh basil. Here I have a tin of um, fresh tomato. That's fresh tomato um, tin. Combine all these ingredients on the wet surface inside the blender. We will blend everything before we go over to the next. I will step. first of all pour the fresh tomatoes inside the blender because I don't want to add any water inside um, the blender. So the fresh tomato liquid is going to form moisture in the blender. Now I'll add every other ingredient. So I'll cover the blender and then blend these ingredients. At this point in time, the blending process is done. So I'll open the blender and pour this mixture inside my pot, which is already heated. I am not going to use the frying method to make this recipe, but if you prefer to use the fried method, what you will do is to toss in some little quantity of um, oil inside the pot, allow it to heat for about um, you know 30 seconds to one minute. After that, you just pour this mixture inside it. But instead, I will pour this mixture right now inside this pot and then cook it down for like 10 minutes before I'll add some oil because I don't want to go through the frying process. The mixture smells super amazing. <laughs> we'll stir the pot to mix well and then cover it to cook down for 10 to 15 good minutes. Sure you stir the pot within the cooking process because I'll be stirring off That's camera. It, guys, I am roasting some uh, granuts in my oven. All I did was to sprinkle in some little quantity of water at the surface of the granite and then sprinkle some little salt on it. And here in my oven, I am roasting the granite to develop that uh, nutty flavor. If you have a roasted granite already, then you don't need to do this step because this granite is fresh that is why i am going through this um, approach i'll be roasting this for about um, 20 to 25 minutes until the granite um, develops um, brownish um, appearance make sure you roast it uh, with 150 degrees celsius of your oven settings so i will do that until the granite is ready then i will set it um, out you can also use um, peanut butter as substitute 10 to 15 minutes later guys and you can notice that the sauce is completely dry can you guys see this this is what uh, we really want so what we are going to do now is to add our vegetable oil inside the pot so remember what we are making is a um, peanut stew you don't need too much quantity of um, oil so i've taken my measuring cup because uh, this is half cup of oil so i'll just add half cup of oil then you mix everything what I have here is some cubes. Use any vegan or vegetable cube of your choice. So I'm breaking in some cube inside the pot. Here is my spices. And guys, we are cooking on medium heat. So please be very careful. Cook your sauce or this stew on a very medium heat to so prevent it from um, burning. So here I have um, various um, spices. If you're going to use this sauce to eat soup, then please don't add the spices right now. So what I have here is a combination of um, paprika, ground white pepper, black pepper, some thyme, some curry powder, some cumin, and also some coriander. I'm using about um, 2 ml of all the spices I just mentioned right now. 
so you stir the pot to combine very very well or to combine effectively we we'll just cover this pot for five minutes so that everything will cook very well or fry well here guys my granite is out from the oven and this is um, the appearance we have at this point in time like a roasted um, granite so here is my granite inside the blender with some little quantity of um, water inside it this is a um, warm water guys so please make sure that your granite um, gets um, very cold or at least um, warm before you add it into the blender so now i'm going to blend it up five minutes later guys you can notice that the sauce is perfectly ready we are cooking on medium to low heat so now i'm going to introduce the granules inside them um, the sauce remember i have not yet added them um, salt inside this sauce that's because um, i sprinkled in a little bit of salt in the granite so until the granite cooks very well i wouldn't be introducing salt until later maybe the last ingredient that will come in here is the blended granite now it's time to bring it into the pot and i have placed them um, some water on the heat i don't know if you can see that pot right there yes i'm boiling some quantity of hot water so i'm going to introduce that um water inside them um, the pot cooking your granite is the same thing like when you're cooking them um, a goosey so you don't need to use cold water to do the water boys i'll add some quantity of hot water inside this pot so first of all before i add the water i'm using the water to rinse my blender before i pour some water in the pot quantity of water you toss in your sauce depends on them um, how you want them um, your sauce to turn out so i'll just pour in some quantity of hot water right now inside the pot so as the stew cooks it's going to um, thicken up once again so you have to add depending on how you want the thickness of your stew to come out and we are going to cook on medium to low heat continuously guys because you don't want this to bend it tastes really nice very very naughty so I've added a reasonable quantity of water in the pot. You see how the consistency is looking? Not added salt yet. I want um, the natural taste of the granite to release itself fully before we add salt. So we are going to cook this for almost 20 good minutes because um, you have to really cook your granite very well otherwise your stomach is going to run. I'll be stirring this pot outside the camera so please make sure you stir your pot within that 20 minutes. Stir continuously. Fifteen minutes later guys and this is what we have here as you can see all the oil has come at the surface of the pot remember i told you we are going to cook this um, granite for 20 minutes but right now i'm opening the pot because i want to refresh um, the recipe before um, the end of the five minutes that we have remaining so that the vegetables i will add right now is going to simmer for extra five minutes so as you can see all our oil has come at the surface of the stew so this is what you should be having after 15 good minutes of um, cooking this sauce on low heat what i'll do now is to stir the pot to combine well remember we have not yet added some salt in this stew so now i'm going to introduce my vegetables remember the two um, onions that we set aside earlier on the white and the purple onions that's what i have here right now and i have some carrots for some crunch and also some bell peppers and i'm using one third of each of the bell peppers of green red and yellow so now i'm going to pour everything right into the pot so that it's going to introduce some level of crunch in this um, sauce As you can see our sauce is very smooth in nature so we want some kind of um, crunch you know some ano and on a tatana the stew you know <laughs> so i just added all the vegetables in the stew and guys our stew is perfectly ready as in this stew is ready introduce my salt in the sauce this stew smells super super amazing it smells really amazing now we'll cover the pot and allow it to simmer only for five minutes my heat is at the very lowest so simmer this for five minutes and then serve 
five minutes later guys and finally finally we have come to the end of today's recipe as you can see all the oil has surfaced at the surface of the sauce and so if you don't like the oil you can go ahead and scoop it out but please if i should suggest for you do not scoop out this oil because it's going to be very perfect on top of your rice your pasta your plantains your yams or whatsoever you may choose to eat with it even your soup go ahead and incorporate some spinach or some ogo or any vegetable of your choice you want to add here you can even add some scent leaves or some parsley whatever it is you want to add at the end of um, the recipe this is what you have this peanut sauce tastes incredibly delicious i mean it's incredibly delicious if you want to add some potatoes inside this sauce you can do it the same time you were adding the peanuts before we cooked for 20 minutes yes you can do that but um, i like to keep it as simple as possible and the way i can also eat it yes. thank you so much for joining me in today's episode i really hope you have enjoyed today's recipe don't forget to like and subscribe to my youtube channel to get instant notifications whenever i upload new videos Feel free to share this video with your friends, loved ones, and family members. Until I come your way next time, bye-bye.